Hi, I'm Marie Mushing. And I'm Carolyn Shannon. And you're watching Pick Talk TV. Niagara. Niagara, yes. Yes. And we have such a beautiful day here today. I tell you, spring is in the air. It was so <laughs> nice. I walked out the door today with no jacket on. Oh, I know. And, you know, I said to the husband, take my winter coat just in case because I'm going down to Niagara. Right. You know. <laughs> and you never know what's going to happen. But, yes. Absolutely fabulous weather. I have noticed that it changes very quickly. That's the thing that yes. is a little, we have to be prepared for either. You yes. know? That's for sure. Exactly. Now we're filming, of course, today from the beautiful new community center here on Niagara on the Lake. And, yes. you know, and what a fabulous place this is. It is excellent. Uh, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do because we're in the lawn bowling room. Um, okay. So in June, they actually start taking over that room again and going outside. But right now, oh, they're actually okay. in the gym. Right. They have they put out grass in the gym, and they actually have an indoor lawn bowling. Perfect. It's, it's just incredible. Yeah. Excellent facility. Yeah. And so much here to do. Well, we're here in the games room today. So we have mm -hmm. the ping pong table. We have the foosball. My there's room. wonderful computers in this room <laughs> for people to use from the community. A great lounge area with a big screen TV. So there's so many uses for all the different rooms in, in this facility. Yeah. You know, as say with there being the gym and a lot of rooms that people can rent out so there are so many different activities. Yes. Uh, we were in a lovely lounge last time we yes. were here. Yes. That's great. <laughs> so we've gotten a chance to move around the facility and see what's going on. And I know what, even from the time we start doing filming here till now yes. there's just so many activities. Yes and they yeah. even have a, a wonderful second cup mm -hmm. um, and I have to say the food is a little bit to die for. And yes. we actually have we par, uh, we actually had a little bit on our way in this morning. Yes, we did. <laughs> we actually had time this morning to have a little snack before the show, um, so that was great. But you got to get here early for the second cup because yes. all the really good food is gone if you don't get here early. It's amazing. We <laughs> got uh, what we wanted for lunch was already gone. So people yes. they rush in and they get it and, yes. and uh, it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> they don't bring in a lot yet, but they. Right. What they have is very yummy. It, you know what? It's fabulous. So come on down and check out the community center if you get the chance. Carolyn, you have your your My last 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 year, yoga. So we go your, there. Yeah, yeah. you laugh yourself healthy. And yeah, so you're here how often? Um, every week right now. Yeah. Uh, Thursdays, 11 till 12. Mm -hmm. And we have a really good group that comes in and just lets it loose and we have a great time with the laughter so it's quite a workout definitely oh. a workout and um, it's a great community and I find that this community is very accepting of different things like, yeah. uh, they're not afraid to try the new things and they have Zumba classes they have all kinds of stuff going on and they even have a whole track upstairs that um, oh really yeah they have a running track upstairs. they have it upstairs oh, yes <laughs> they do in the one area oh that's great uh, that's so and that they have all kinds of things going on it's attached to the library mm -hmm. yep yeah, and yeah. Uh, that's huge too. Yeah. So, no, this is an excellent facility, and and we are very, very blessed and honored that they allow us to yeah. to, to do our show here. Yes, we certainly are. Mm -hmm. But we do have a lot of things going on at People in Connection as oh. well yes. um, throughout the community. And of course, one of the big things right now we're talking about is the All About You Day in Niagara Falls that you are hosting. Yes. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, All About You Day. Um, this is a small flyer. Um, however, you can go to allaboutyouday.com, day, oh. days.com, okay. and uh, check it out. But we have so many unique things that are being offered that day. We have like head and neck massages. We've got warm bamboo back and shoulder massages, uh, chakra balancing. We have the traditional iridology. We even have coaching sessions there as well for people who want a few minutes of coaching for mm -hmm. personal or business at the moment. And we just... Oh, a good group of people offering a lot of different things, and they're ten dollars each. Mm -hmm. uh, it's free admission, though. You can come yeah. in and just check it out and see what you'd like to do. However, a lot of people are registering, so if there's something mm -hmm. that you really, really, really want, mm -hmm. it'd be wise to yeah. register online. <laughs> yes, and, that, and that's a great idea, and I think that's wonderful um, that you have that t ability to do that in advance on the website. Uh, and a great big hi to my husband in Hamilton, who is oh, usually yeah. our technical director um, when we're on site in Hamilton, but he's watching us from uh, a distance today. So, hi, Hen. <laughs> <Hi, laughs> and telling us hi, that, yeah, that we look great. Bill, um, Bill, Bill. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's an inside joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill. Yes. <laughs> but, yeah, and you know, I must say a thank you to my husband because, you know, he takes such good care of yes. um, the show and all mm -hmm. our technical aspects of running the shows and our take videos and everything with people on connection you know it's just so great that he is there to support oh, me yes, and yes. to take care of all these things because I know sometimes 
I wouldn't know what to do. And uh, you know, it, it's nice to know that he's that even that phone call away to go help. Yes, yes. <laughs> and he does an excellent job. Yeah, yeah, and, job. And, and he makes me laugh. Yeah, yes. well, that's good too. Yes. <laughs> uh, anyway, so what else have we got? We have um, oh. Yes, Peter Kimblett. Peter Peter. Kimblet. Oh, yes. Peter is actually going to be uh, speaking at our evening showcase event that we're holding. Um, and we'll have all the details for you um, on that because we're looking at doing that about mid-April. Oh, good. Um, yes. Since um, I'll be away the last two weeks of mm -hmm. March, so we'll be doing that uh, in April. And Peter is definitely one of our speakers that evening, so we will have... Um, some great information to be shared from him. Actually, he just sent along all his information to me uh, with regards to that. Well, so he just did a, a, an interview with yes. me about All About You Day, and okay. it was excellent. He Fabulous. really got what I was actually saying, and he put it out there in mm -hmm. print to, you know how sometimes you can give information right. and it doesn't turn out yes. the way you... <laughs> exactly what you wanted. He to really have. listens. Mm -hmm. He really listens, yeah. and then he can put it on paper in a way that you really get it. Yeah. And I like that. So yeah. We are very blessed again to have him in our, our group mm -hmm. here in Niagara. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so yeah, he's got tons of articles on our website. He puts up one on a regular basis, probably mm -hmm. well on a daily basis, if not two. And yeah, very, very informative. Great business advice on all different aspects, right from social media to yes. your website, promotions. So definitely take a chance and have a look at that. What he now, does, yes. Yeah. Now, Julie Stobie. She, of course, um, just did an article there on photo organizing, which we talked about a little bit on the last show. Um, and I know a lot of us still have those photos in our box, and we'll get to those. <laughs> yes, and those the ones that, uh, you know, we used to think that digitizing everything would be a great thing. Yeah. And then how often do we get to look at those pictures? That's, That's the right. only problem. But yeah. now that we can put them on your TV screens and, That's and right. yeah. put them in. It's oh, yeah. Good. There's a lot of different ways that we can use them yeah. digitally now. And I find, actually, I'm with them on my computer, I actually look at them more often. You do? Yeah. Okay, I haven't oh, yeah. gotten in the habit of doing that yet. I have to work on that. Yeah, it, yeah. it's nice to go back every once in a while and look at some of the older photos. I have digital photos going back to the year 2000 on my oh computer. My and right from the, my first big, huge digital camera, you know, when they first came out, there were these big, clunky, oh, heavy yeah. things. Yes, 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 um, I remember that. And they don't, took a little 640 by 480 picture. <laughs> and they were a little bit grainy and they weren't very good, but you know yeah. what? It was just the novelty of it at the okay, time. Yeah. And now, you know, of course, we're looking at these little crystal clear, crystal clear beautiful little cameras that can just do amazing prints, you know. And, you know, let's face it, you know, it's that time. Oh, I know. Vic, my, uh, I call him my SO, my significant other, he actually just found one yesterday, bought one for $2 somewhere, and he got it all in shape. And he's, take, he's, he's a picture maniac at the moment. But he doesn't use the computer enough to actually put it on, so I know that's another job I'll be getting. <laughs> <laughs> now, Julie, you know, I just wanted to mention, too, Julie has another um, service that she's offering, and it's virtual organizing. Yes. And, and this is you a service that me. we were just talking about. And, and because I just think this is such a, a unique idea for people that maybe feel that they don't really want somebody to come in and help them get organized, but they know they need someone to kind of oversee they what they're the doing. They need that accountability. So Julie offers this as yes. a virtual service um, where she will actually, you can actually do everything by phone with her, where she will call and she will check up on you <laughs> <laughs> and make sure that, you know, at a certain time and a certain day and a certain time, you're going to be doing something, you'll arrange with her what you're going to be doing, and she will check up on you and make sure you're doing it. Yeah. And I think that is an awesome idea. I know after I get back from my holiday, that's something that her, her and I are definitely going to talk well, about. Well, we've already... <laughs> we've already uh, decided we're doing an hour appointment very in the near future yes. as well. Yeah. <laughs> now you have some other events in the Niagara region yes, too. Yes, actually uh, Gloria Messenger, one of our yes. members who has uh, written a book called A Mirroring Discovery with Angel Visitations, mm -hmm. uh, she is going to be doing a book signing at Chapters here in St. Catharines mm -hmm. um, on Saturday, this Saturday, Perfect. March 3rd. Yeah. Uh, she just did one on February 25th at Claire's Harley Davidson motorcycle. Oh, store. yes, and that's and awesome. It yeah, was great. And she sold over tw well over 25 books, and um, there was a lot of good, uh, mm -hmm. lot of good interest on it uh, in it. And she just, it was just wonderful. And uh, so she will be at Chapters uh, this on the third, and she'll also be doing another thing at Claire's motorcycle, okay. uh, Harley Davidson store, because she's doing the Ladies Garage Night book signing as oh, well. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And they actually run every month. Mm -hmm. um, they run a garage sale night for the women, where mm -hmm. they do they learn a lot about 
working with bikes and yeah. all kinds of stuff. So that it's just amazing. Yeah. So everybody that bought a book at Claire's got a, a little motorcycle with an angel on it. Oh yeah. Riding it. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of neat. Oh, perfect. Um, we also, at uh, the Sunday, uh, we have an International Women's Day mm -hmm. at uh, the CAW Hall in St. Catharines uh, on Bunting Road. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our people are going to be going into that again. There's um, Joanne Maddy, um, uh, Gloria is going to be there, um, Anna Marie, and um, well, there's, and I think Jeanette is going to be there as well, Jeanette mm -hmm. Hunter, mm -hmm. and uh, myself, and a lot of us are just going in and, and doing that and celebrating that day with, uh, with the public. Yeah. Excellent. And then um, we have an, uh, our Ridgeway Legion mm -hmm. people, um, Barbara Hopkins, um, they're actually putting on an annual benefit for McMaster's Children Hustle, and they do this oh, every year. Oh, excellent. So they're yeah. raising money for that on mm -hmm. March 25th. And then again, the All About You Day on the 31st. So there's a lot of events going on in this yeah. area that our members are participating in. And, and that's and then that's good. And I think that's a wonderful part about being an individual, you know, an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Is it gives us a lot more opportunities to participate in the community to give back a little bit more yes. in, in a lot of different ways that traditionally, if you're working for somebody else, that you can't do. You can't do it. No. Yeah. No. And of course, that's one of the things we do with people in connection. You know, we're very mm -hmm. happy to have organized organizations, um, service, um, company, service businesses, <laughs> yeah, I lost that point, <laughs> um, to join us for, at no charge and it gives you a chance to you know, promote your fundraisers, share some information, what you're all about, yes. we invite you to come on to the live show um, and share that, you yes. know, and it really expands. We just had an organization in Hamilton that came on board with us and you know came on the live show and I didn't even know they existed they, they've been around for, for years See? so you know and doing a lot of amazing things in the community but we didn't know they were there until they came forward well I find that interesting that we don't have more community groups yeah. joining us because we actually offer a complimentary uh, that's right with that complimentary uh, membership. so I've, I'm always amazed that we aren't inundated with uh, Mm -hmm. people wanting it but what has been happening is the unique ones have been coming the ones yeah. that like you say are little known and really yeah. need the help yeah and so they are actually coming in and yeah. we have stranger danger awareness and yes. we have Davao hospice mm -hmm. Niagara so we have we're just getting there and it's yeah. been a good thing and yeah. the legion and the legion, and the legion of yeah. course yes and the legion and they're so yeah and, it, and, it, and it, I know I really enjoy learning more about these organizations mm -hmm. Uh, because of course you know and then it gives us more ways we can give back because I know like you know in Hamilton you know we found out oh yeah we can we can send clothing and yes. you know household items over here and you know these are different places that we can share the wealth with okay. and I and I think you know honestly, that's just an incredible feeling to know that you can help some other people that's right. yeah that's right. Okay, so what else have we got? We got our uh, people in connection network event. Oh yes. yes, yes, and this has been a little bit different because it, usually it feels like we've started March and that we should have had an event by now. But uh, That's with, right. with March starting on the Thursday, on the first, yes. um, our first event is until next week. That's right. Um, actually, uh, your Niagara Falls event is on March the seventh. On March the seventh, mm -hmm. and that's at Tony Roma's, and yeah. um, we have a really good venue there, and we have a nice big room to yourself. In fact, we're actually the, pretty much the only people in the place because. Yeah. They don't open until four o'clock, but they've been Perfect. wonderful about opening for us. Oh, I think that's fabulous. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. we we're having that on March seventh, mm -hmm. and that's from eleven till eleven thirty till uh, one, mm -hmm. and then St. Catharines at Joe Feta's on Wednesday, March fourteenth, and again a very excellent venue that everybody mm -hmm. seems to enjoy. Oh yeah, they the take food. great care. And uh, a lot of your people come down after the morning. Yes, <laughs> yes, because we're in Hamilton um, that morning on uh, March the 14th for the breakfast from 8 till 9.30 at the Bedrock Bistro. Mm -hmm. And um, and then in Burlington, we actually have a brand new day. We used to yeah. meet on the, on the at first we were on the Wednesday, and now we changed it to the Thursday. Well, now we changed it to the first Tuesday of the month. And actually, that works out a lot better for oh, a good, lot of people. Good, 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 good. Um, same thing, it's breakfast from 8 till 9.30, and that's the Burlington Hotel and Conference Center, so mm -hmm. that's the Holiday Inn just on the service road off of Guelph Line. And it's right off the road. Yeah, it's right off the highway, um, so there's not a lot of traveling through the city to get there or anything. Um, and yeah, people are really enjoying the events out there in Burlington as well. So we're really excited I mean, we, about we really that change. We really enjoyed it. Anna Marie and I when we came. We're yeah. Like we are, we're not yeah. a big morning persons but, uh, because of the drive. Oh well, yeah, but, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely, a, enjoyed it. definitely a bit more of a challenge for people coming from the Niagara region mm -hmm. up to Hamilton in the morning because I know what the traffic's like even going from Hamilton to Burlington in the morning. Yes. And uh, I'm glad I don't do that every day. 
Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, and we have our next live show. It's uh, April yeah. 20th. April the 20th, yes. And actually, Karen Stalker from uh, Law of Attraction Canada is that's uh, right. it's going to be one of our guests on that date. So. That's right. That's, good. that's right. But our first guest today, or I said, I guess I should say, our guest today yes. is Lynn Pereira. Yes. Um, and Lynn is Vertex Life Systems Coaching. Yes. And so she's going to talk to us a little bit about what it is that she does to help people. So I will let you go. I'm ready. Do this. Thank okay. you. Hi. Hi. Welcome, Lynn. Welcome. Thank you. Now I see that your I see your model here is that change is inevitable. Mm -hmm. It is up to you how you want to change. And so, can you tell us a little more? Like at the networking meetings, I hear a little bit, but I mm -hmm. never really get to understand and to, um, ex you know, explore what you do. And you do more than one thing, so that's, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell us a little bit more about what you do? Sure. Um, Vortex is a system or a process um, which supports um, individuals in human development mm -hmm. and growth, mm -hmm. as well as organizations. Uh, more specifically teams within corporations mm -hmm. and um, and as well uh, the coaching and the techniques I use can be applied to uh, all types of intersubjective relationships between couples, parents and children and the list goes on. Oh, wow. So I do this through three main venues which is life coaching, right. clinical hypnotherapy and neuro-linguistics programming. Now what is the last one? What is that? NLP. I hear about this all the yeah. time. LLP. What is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, well, you and many, many other people. Um, to put it simply, yeah. um, our brain is um, developed to attach language to affect yeah. or experience. Unfortunately, the left hemisphere sometimes erroneously interprets our experience and our affect. Okay. It's very, very common. Um, so what happens is that, that process can actually um, freeze an individual, yes, yes, immobilize them, cause them blocks, mm -hmm. and um, really negative affect. So neurolinguistics programming basically detaches that erroneous attachment, initial attachment, yes. and reattaches um, a more positive way to look at that experience. Thus freeing the individual to move on to where they to want to go. Their life. So if somebody who um, has a lot of fear in their life and they're just mm -hmm. stuck and they and the more they talk about it the bigger it becomes and they can't seem to get out of it then mm -hmm. you would be able to te teach them techniques or um, do a treatment but then teach them techniques that they can use? Absolutely. There's no client that leaves um, my practice without skills to take with them. Um, I'm very adamant about that, yes. that I am there to fully support the individual or the corporation in their growth. Um, human development is our greatest asset, mm -hmm. whether you're talking about the business world mm -hmm. or yes. our personal lives. And I think society is experiencing this crisis where the way we used to operate is no longer working for us. <laughs> and you see the byproducts of this in um, mental illness, the prevalence of yes. mental illness, yes. um, suicide rates, mm -hmm. um, marital breakups, relationship breakups, mm -hmm. um, just interpersonal difficulties. And it's not the individual's fault. It's that we are not equipping and teaching human beings how to be the best that they can be. And there are very, very simple techniques that can really get a person to where they need to go mm -hmm. and where they deserve to go. Now, I know this is off topic in a, in a sense, but maybe not. Um, when you were talking about that, something came into my head about choices. And do you think that a little bit about the world today is that there's too many choices? It used to be much more simple. It used to be black and white almost. Mm -hmm. And there was, and I'm, I love choices. Mm -hmm. However, I think today we, I'm seeing more of a pattern where there's so much choice, it's harder to settle in some ways. Mm -hmm. And and um, and so to make a decision sometimes can take a lot longer. And you no, know, sometimes it's good research, mm -hmm. but just in life itself, can it? Um, is that part of what may be changing society in a way? Mm -hmm. Good point. I mean. The 
excessive ability to, to choose causes clutter, co cognitive clutter. And what happens is that one part of our brain will actually hijack the other part of the brain so that we can't really find clarity. And that causes more difficulty than it really, really should in a person's life. But because society is becoming so complex, my goodness, mm. we're bombarded, bombarded. That's with what I'm so feeling. many things. And the brain biologically can only handle a very small, minute amount of, of incoming stimuli at any given time. And um, I mean, that is a, a survival mechanism. I mean, we have to attend to survival. Yes. But how we interpret that is something much different from, from the brain's perspective. Yes, so it makes it much more difficult to make a, a clear decision. Absolutely. And not change your mind in five minutes. Mm -hmm. And not think, oh, but maybe I should have done right. this instead. Right. Yeah. Or a clear decision that actually means something to us, yes. that is aligned with our values. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I've asked so many clients when they come to me, do you know what your value system is? Oh, well, I was taught not to do this. And it's, well, no, that, those are your morals are much different yes. from values. Values are totally unique to each individual and makes each individual an incredibly unique, beautiful uh, creature. Yes. Um, but you need to understand what your values are, or else your decisions and the choices that you're faced with are really going to cause and cre well, create havoc. Havoc. Mm -hmm. And the less havoc, the better in our lives, that's for sure. Right. Now, you notice that things are speeding by these days. I'm mm -hmm. finding that life is just passing by very quickly. I go from Thursday to that, Thursday yeah. these days. I, Thursday's garbage night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's like, okay, it's Thursday. Oh, we've got a whole week ahead of us. Oh, my God, it's Thursday. It's garbage night again. It's just like... Monday to Thursday, Monday to Thursday, and the rest seems to be gone. Now what is up with that? What? <laughs> and I and I'm not alone. I'm hearing this mm -hmm. about with with everybody that I talk mm -hmm. to, and I'm and I'm thinking that that's part of again our problems with life in, mm -hmm. at the moment is that it's just beating by, and we are. Um, I don't know if we're in the now or we're in the future most of the time. Mm -hmm. And um, and that way it just. And so this can cause you to feel like you're not getting done, you're not getting things done enough. So that's something that you would also be able to help people with, I would imagine, to get things done in a timely manner that they are, that makes them feel better. Mm -hmm. that makes them feel better. And, and discard the things that they are doing repetitively yeah, that really, enough. their energy zappers, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're like the rocking chair thing where you go back and forth and you don't get anywhere. Mm -hmm. Well, get, getting <laughs> back to what you had, you had first asked me about, um, you know, that change is inevitable. Mm -hmm. um, even when you think you're not changing, you actually are. And even on a biological level with the brain, the more that neurons will fire together, they, mm -hmm. will, they will connect, and that becomes a very rigid substrate in the neurons and in that pathway. So yes. you actually are changing, you're becoming more rigid in your reactions mm -hmm. and your approaches to life, which is not what you want. Oh, I but think so. No, it's not good for neuroplasticity in the brain and it's also um, reflective in our behavior and our responsivity to situations and other humans mm -hmm. um, that we interact with. Um, the bottom line is you do have a choice as oh, okay. to how you do want to change if you want to really, really honor the person that you are mm -hmm. and make a choice to become the, the best person that you can be um, and, and really, you know, pay homage to that mm -hmm. and to develop your skills. Um, and, you know, sometimes that seems a little fluffy. It sounds a little fluffy. Mm -hmm. But in retrospect, all the the scientific research that has been coming out in the last 10 to 20 years as to how to keep your brain young yes. and plastic yes. is it has to do with embracing change, trying things that um, task you a little bit, mm -hmm. um, that cause you just a little bit of stress mm -hmm. in stress learning healthy, something yeah. new, it, it, as long as it's at a moderate level, and um, teaching you how to, how to interact with people and keep those connections mm -hmm. alive because because for the social brain, that is absolutely critical, oh, especially that. as we age. I believe that, especially in this area where we seem to have a lot of Alzheimer's and things like that as well. 
Absolutely. 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 Have to keep it going. Now mm -hmm. you're sort of working from a scientific point of view, but mm -hmm. also with you're bringing in other things that actually help people as well. Mm -hmm. um, from I don't know if you call it spiritual or just holistic. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you so you have a good balance of what mm -hmm. you bring into your business and also into, for your clients. Right. Right. I try to educate my um, my clients as much as possible because I know for myself in my walk in life just to be told something or uh -huh. to arrive at a particular type of conclusion is okay uh -huh. but if I have the understanding of why it's so critical behind me um, that really makes the shift that much more profound yeah. and it yeah. stays with the person um, and you know science is here for a reason and um, it's not always correct I mean science no, no, is responsible for some mistakes <laughs> um, but, but it is our best defense to misperception and lack of education mm -hmm. which doesn't help people actually trap people yeah. um, so yes definitely educating from a scientific point of view I mean I, I definitely don't bombard my clients with neuroscience and no, neurobiology no, no, no. which I study but no it's, no. it's, it's, it's much See, more for watered them it's down. It's more about getting the understanding even more than Correct. education if they need Correct. to understand what's going yeah. on and how to, how to yeah. cope with it. Mm -hmm. Well if somebody would like to um, reach you? How would mm -hmm. they reach you? Um, well, they can go to my website, which is www.vortexlifesystems.com, mm -hmm. or they can Google me. I've, I've got an ongoing blog. Um, they Excellent. can contact me or, or call me at 905-894-3111. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing well, with us you. today. And it's I look forward to seeing you on the 7th. Yes, definitely. I love those. The luncheons are great. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you, Carolyn. Well, welcome back. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what wonderful information that was. That yes. was amazing because, yes. again, we don't get, we only get like that short two minute little mm -hmm. thing at our meetings. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, and yeah. so nice to actually, and we've never had time to actually sit and talk. So well, there you go. I've learned a lot, <laughs> and I yes. know I even have a person in mind that I would love to. Uh, Center for a client. So. Well, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. And you know what? I find the Niagara region is very rich in the health field. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes, we. Huge. I have to say that this this has been the growth of the holistic health mm -hmm. and the and the health part is uh, the scientific health is very big, very yeah. big in this area. And we mm -hmm. even have like three or four people now that do the uh, screening for the. Um, breast cancer and things like that, oh, yes. rather than okay. that's not mm -hmm. as invasive as the um, mammogram or things like that. Right. So yeah. we, it is very rich with a lot of things going on, and um, all the way, the whole region, not just um, no. not just one like Niagara Falls. Yeah, or or like no, no, it, it is very widespread, okay. and, I, and I think maybe that's because people are getting frustrated with the traditional medicine, oh, sure. you know, sure. and going to doctors and not getting results, and doctors mm -hmm. not being able to diagnose saying well we've done all the tests we don't know what's wrong with you and where that's where the alternative right. medicine takes over and says yeah you know what we can figure this out through yes. different methods yes yeah. and some of it can work very well with yep. traditional mm -hmm. the main thing that I think the holistic part of it is and the in what Lynn is doing it's all about preventative too like she she can work with changing some of the old behavior but with what she does as well she develops them into new behavior and the whole thing is about changing your life and being preventative in everything and if we can be more preventive now there's some things we can't change mm -hmm. like I mean life can change in a moment and we can um, well with one of our our enemy's husband just slipping and falling and being in a coma yes. for two weeks there are yeah. some things we have no control some over. some things you have no control <laughs> over however the ones that we can prevent let's do it you know, yeah. that's the way I look at it yeah that's right you know take advantage of whatever the forms are out there yes. to help you feel better that's right. yeah definitely that's right. and laughter's one of them too. laughter ah. is definitely one of them <laughs> I was telling Carolyn before the show did a laughter yoga class in Hamilton with yes. Catherine Kimmins yes. from laughter self healthy yes. and it was it was fabulous it was a lot of fun and of course we did a lot of laughing yes. <laughs> yeah. and I you know and you don't you never know what the benefits are going to be because I had only ever done one many years ago um, and had never done a formal laughter yoga yeah. class. The other one was part of a networking yeah. event. Just a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
I found, you know, that it did have some health benefits for me. I was telling Carolyn before the yes, show yes. that it actually helped to improve my breathing. So I felt like I could take that deeper breath and get that much more oxygen into my yes. lungs. Yes. And it was a benefit I never expected to experience um, from doing that class. that class. So, you know, just from doing one class, I can definitely see how it has some huge, huge health benefits, well, besides the fact that it really distresses you. It distresses <laughs> you, it, just, yeah. it makes you feel, you just get a connection yeah. with the people there, yeah. even though you may not know their names. Yeah. And uh, one of our members, Gloria, she's been doing it for a, um, a year now, and mm -hmm. she just can't get over how much it helps her and yeah. the benefits that have come in. Yeah. yeah. So it's, I love it. It's the best thing I ever added to my business life and my personal life and uh, I needed something that I could just do that um, I didn't have to follow the leader and I have to be there so I have to do it. That's I right. facilitate it therefore I have to be there. Therefore, you have to participate. <laughs> so I'm committed. Yeah. You are committed. <laughs> People say I am very committed. No. Yeah, anyway. no. <laughs> <laughs> but we, and, you know that's why I love about people question. We have so much fun. We do. At our events yeah. we do have yeah, some great really That's good great. Experience. We always have a good time no matter what we do. And of course we'd like you to get in on that fun and mm -hmm. join us at Definitely. Keep On Connection and on TikTok TV. You know a guest spot, $75, gives you the guest spot on the show, yes. the membership listing with our virtual network, and of course the discounted all our networking events. Yes. So there's a lot of huge advantages. And for $75 annually, you yes. can't lose. Anybody yes. who actually does come to the meetings really doesn't pay that $75 in the long run. In the long because run, Because no. they save yeah. more than the $75 just yeah. by coming to the events and not paying that extra $5. That's so right. Yeah. If you can make it, that's great. And even just the show spot alone would be worth much more. Oh, it would. It would so, definitely be yeah. worth much more. Yes. Um, and of course, we do have some other sponsorship opportunities with oh, Fun Connections. So, you know, just check it out with us. You know, we have some banner advertising opportunities and different things that are coming up. So and you yeah. do a lot of web design as well, right? Yes, I do a lot of website design. We just launched five websites. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the last couple of weeks. So it was a little bit hectic. Yes. But, but it's great, you know, and it's really nice to see the end result, you know, after all the hard work of working back and forth with the client to say, oh, this is what it was. Um, and to see the client being very happy about that result as well. That's why I'm so, yeah. Well, it is something that it, you get to start and finish, kind of, and, and I think yeah. that that feels good. And it's creative. So, it therefore, is. anything yeah. that you do out of love, right? I think yeah. what I always say, whatever thing you do out of love, everybody will love. That's right. <laughs> exactly. You know, and I like to, you know, we have I always like to thank our sponsors. You know, we have some great sponsors um, with people in connection that help to promote us, get us out there. We have uh, the North End Breezes, uh, Diamond Within Resources, oh, yeah. Yeah, um, Adele, yep. Yeah. Um, NewMediaStar.tv, um, Mads Mark Ironside in the Mountain Theatre in Hamilton, um, Venti Creatively, of course, <laughs> Carolyn and her business and all the support she gives us down here in the Niagara region, uh, Dr. PC, yes. who is our official host for People in Connection, um, New, New World, World Coaching, coaching yes. New World Coaching, yes, out of um, Stratford region, mm -hmm. and then we also have The Zine in Hamilton, which is an online um, Entertainment publication. Yes, I have and it. Yeah, I yeah, know. and she publishes to oh, around 10,000 people. Wow. Yes. 10,000 people. 10,000. About 10,000. 10, no, oh about 10,000 people That's still okay. um, that she reaches with that newsletter. Uh, so it's a great way to promote yourself. Mm -hmm. and, Events yeah. and things. Okay, yeah. I have to keep that Events in mind. and things. And of course, she's with people, alerts uh, with people uh -huh. in connection. So, you know, we always invite people to get in touch with her if they like to do some promoting that way Excellent. as well. I have a, a thought yeah. about it many times. Yeah, just haven't very reasonable. On it. Very reasonable to Excellent. advertise. So, Good to know. But that's it for our show for yes. this week. So, yes. uh, you got anything great coming up immediately? Uh, um, I guess your big, thing is, your big thing is the show. It's, it's, it's all about the, uh, the All About News Day. All About News Day. Um, I do recommend that people who really want certain things do register because you can only register until March 25th. And okay. that's because we. Um, the rest of the people will just have to come in and take their chances, yep. but um, there will be yep. some things to do, and it's a free event. Mm -hmm. And even just to come in and have a $10 lunch, that's going to be yeah. some really good choice of wraps, soup, and salads. You can't beat yeah. that. Oh, you so, can't. Uh, yeah. It's definitely a worthwhile event to come, and, and to, uh, but you can go online to, to register. So Excellent. So that's great. So thank you so much. Thank for, you. Uh, for blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And there we go. That's, and, and yes. That's part of the gibberish from laughter. From yeah. laughter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Marie Mushing. And I'm Carolyn Shannon. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.